unfortunately, that river will swell to the point that it flows over the banks and into the heartland. And before we know it, that thing that we loved and we cherished, that thing is now flowing through our homes. It's up our walls. It's flowing through our churches. It's telling us what we can't do, how we can't worship. It's telling us how we can't. It's in our businesses. It's telling us how we can't run our businesses. And it's putting chains on us. It's in our parks. Uh, it, it, it's in our schools. It's in our town halls. That river is now flooded everything we know. And that river is now not productive. It is not helpful. That river is killing us. That river is causing destruction. And it is taking away everything <coughs> that we cherish, that we love, and that we would die for. Well, I believe the federal government is like that river. And right now, it's flooded. It's flooded. We, we had a debt of, of, of years ago. We had a debt of, of, of four trillion, and then it went to seven trillion, and eight trillion, and nine trillion, and ten trillion, and twelve trillion, and now almost fourteen trillion dollars. And by the way, that has occurred because of Republican leadership, and that has occurred because of Democratic leadership. But that river, no matter who is responsible for that, that river has overflowed its banks, and it is now involved in every area of yours and my life. So what do we do? Well, I believe that it is incumbent upon us to utilize the common sense that God gave us, to take personal responsibility, to grab our sandbags, to grab our votes, and run, and push that river back to within its banks so that the river can perform its function. And it does have a function. It has a purpose. To, to, to help us in our life, but not to flood our life, and to run in our lives, and to dictate our lives, and to prevent us from knowing the life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness as you stated in your prayer. That's when the government and the river becomes a liability. And my dear friends, I believe that it is at this moment where we find ourselves that it is time, it is incumbent upon you and I to do all that we can do to push that river back to within its banks. I'm optimistic. I believe that, that these youngsters, these little ones, I believe that they are going to be a part of the greatest country going forward. I have four children, Susan and I, Samantha, Stephanie, Allie, and Abby. And my goodness, I hope that they accomplish far more than their dad. I hope they have a better life than their dad and their mom. I hope that they know greater success. I hope they know greater happiness. That makes me a dad. That makes me a dad. And in this country, the greatest country that the world has ever known, in this country, that hope is possible. It is possible in a place called America. My promise to you is not that I can solve all of our problems because I cannot. Not that I will tell you what you want to hear because I won't all the time. But my promise to you is this. I will listen. I will try to comfort you through the difficult times that we face. I will listen and help you and I, together, formulate solutions for the biggest problems we face in our country right now. I will do so with, with a fervent spirit, with an open mind, with a passion in my heart. I will be with you. I'm not running so I can be away from you. I want to be with you. So we, together, can secure the future for these little ones and for my little ones so that they have a great future. I am honored that you're here. I'm humbled. <laughs> the only way I know how to put it is that God has supplied my needs. 
He has put people in my life that I do, uh, I never do. He's met my needs. He's opened the doors when we needed the doors open. And you've been a part of that. And I thank you very much. I ask you to help me. To join beside me. Not just to be interested in our future, but to be committed to our future. And there is a difference between interest and commitment. Carolyn Land is committed to our future. She's committed. She's not just interested. She's committed. I know our team, Spin, Bliss, Jonathan. My goodness, these are people that are committed to our future. And I need you to be committed, not just interested. I don't know what you can do. Only you know that. To some, they can... They can Make phone calls. To others, they can, they, can tell their, they can tell all their neighbors in every direction about our calls. To others, they can, uh, they can wave signs. To some, they can donate. And they can donate, I don't know, join our 2010 club, $20.10. And I don't know an American today that doesn't enjoy $20.10 of freedom. Some can give more. I don't know. You know. I don't know what you can do. Maybe it's just put a bumper sticker on your car and a sign in your front yard and just, just make a proclamation to your community that you're supporting Steve Sutherland for Congress. Whatever you think you can do, do it. Be a part of the committed, not just those that are interested. Be a part of the committed. Thank you for being here today. This has been a real special treat of mine to come and, and have a little quiet hour or two to have one-on-one -on -one visits and, and uh, uh, I grew up in a, in, a, in a place and in a family where we called that fellowship. Fellowship. Where we visit. We get to know each other. A lot of our functions are not a lot of fellowship. I come in and I speak. And people ask a bunch of questions and, and uh, uh, people try to shoot at me a little bit and, and uh, not a lot of fellowship. I want you to know that you charge me up. You remind me of why we are doing what we're doing. I needed this fellowship this afternoon. You have uh, you've encouraged me, and I thank you. And I needed to hear the finest uh, of our youth pray, lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, and say that you know what? There's a standard here. A standard, reverence, and respect. We acknowledge God. We acknowledge our country. We acknowledge our flag that men and women have died to defend. There's a standard here. And I promise you in closing that I recognize the standard. Thank you. God bless you and God bless the United States of America.